We are following a developing story tonight. Stephen Avery's lawyer is expected to file paperwork presenting a new alternate theory in the death of Teresa Hawbuck at any time. Avery is serving a life sentence for the 2005 murder. NBC 26's Raquel Lamel is at the Manitowoc Courthouse with the very latest. Raquel? Well, Megan, anticipation running high here tonight, including from the Avery family. Stephen Avery's cousin, Kim Ducat, making an appearance here in the courthouse lobby, although she left quickly, not speaking to very many people. Now, sources tell us that Avery's lawyer, Kathleen Zellner, could have made an appearance today, and she drops off paperwork. Now, that paperwork is expected to be a file for a motion to access DNA evidence collected at the crime scene, which coincides with the fact that the clerk here said Zellner's office was asking about where certain exhibits were kept since some are being kept in Calumet County. Now, according to the Manitowoc County Clerk of Courts, the paperwork needs to be filed here in Manitowoc because it needs to be filed with the circuit court judge assigned to that case. Now, Zellner has been fighting to prove Avery's innocence after the Netflix documentary Making a Murderer caught national headlines. Avery and his nephew, Brendan Dassey, have spent the last decade behind bars for the 2005 murder of Teresa Hallbuck. Just two weeks ago, Dassey's conviction was overturned, giving new hope for his uncle case. Now, Zellner has until Monday to file that paperwork, although sources say she could be expected as early as tomorrow. We'll be here all day tomorrow to cover that. Live in Manitowoc, keeping you connected, Raquel Lamel, NBC 26. To follow the latest developments in both Avery and Dassey's cases, just visit